Hello everyone, it's PCL Pahe and today I'll be showing you how to fix hyping issues and online lag for the game The First Descendant in few simple steps. First of all, I would like to thank you all as my channel recently completed 16k subscribers and it means a lot to me. So if you haven't subscribed yet, then please hit the subscribe button now for regular gaming content. And now without any further ado, let's get started. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed but if you are still facing this issue then proceed to the next step. This step is a really important step and I consider this step to be a mandatory one before performing any further steps. So in this step, we'll be clean booting our PC and what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. And clean booting is different from restarting your PC. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC, then I've already made a guide on how to do so. I'll provide you the link of that video in the description of this one. And it is a really quick guide of four minutes. So just watch that video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the further steps. This step is a really useful step and it has helped many users in fixing this problem. So first of all, what you have to do is you just have to go to your command prompt. So just search for CMD on your start menu and go to command prompt. In command prompt, search for ping, type ping 1.1.1.1 and once you've done that, press enter. So it will take some time. It will just analyze the ping at 1.1.1.1 and as you can see, average ping is 11 ms. Now what you have to do is you have to type ping 8.8.8.8 and press enter and it will again calculate the average ping so let's wait for it and request timeout and here it is the average ping here is 17 ms so as you can see there is a clear difference between this dns server and this dns server 11 ms is way better than 17 ms so what you have to do is you just have to see which one is better for you and just remember that dns and now go to your network connections so search for view network connections so just go to view network connections here as you can see and here you have to go to your current network to which you are connected right now so i'm connected to my wi-fi just double click on your wi-fi if you're connected to your wi-fi or you can just select your ethernet if you're connected to your ethernet and go to your properties in properties you have to select internet protocol version 4 and click on ok oh click on properties not click on ok click on properties and in properties by default it is on obtain dns server address automatically you have to select use the following dns server address and in preferred dns server you have to enter the dns which was better for you so in my case 1.1.1.1 was better for me so i'll press 1.1.1.1 and if 1.1.1 was better for you too so you have to do the same 1.0.0.1 so that's it for this step but just in case 8.8.8 .8 was better for you then you just have to change it to 8.8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and alternate DNS server to 8.8.4.4 and click on OK. Once you have done that, that's it for this step. It will be really helpful and it has fixed this problem for many users. Now let's proceed to the next step. This step is again a really important one and in this step we'll be forwarding ports. So if you have a stable internet connection and all your router configuration are good to go, then this step is very important. All you have to do is you have to search for the first descendant ports on Google and you have to go to this website portforward.com go to this first link and you'll be redirected to this page here as you can see the first descendant steam ports are here so what you have to do is first of all search for windows firewall with advanced security windows defender firewall with advanced security on your pc go to this and copy the first tcb port i think you should copy both of them copy both of them together and once you've copied them, go back to your Windows Defender Firewall with advanced security. Go to inbound rules on the left hand side as you can see, inbound rule. And here create a new rule. And when we, once you will click here, you will have these four options. We are forwarding ports. So select port here, click on next. As we have already copied the TCP ports and I've already provided these ports in the description of this video. So don't worry, we, you can just copy it from there. So paste the copied ports here. So once you've clicked here, click on next, allow the connection, click on next, domain private public select everything, click on next, 
and you can give it any name but i'll give it the name the first descendant and finish now again you have to do the same steps but this time you have to copy the udp ports you can copy it from the description of the video again and once you're here create new rule again and this new rule again will be forwarding port so select port click on next this time we are pasting the udp ports so just select udp and paste the udp ports click on next allow the connection domain private public select everything click on next and again give it the name the first descendant and once you've done that click on finish and that's it for this step and this will definitely help you in fixing hyping issues in network lab in this step we'll be flushing our dns so this step also seemed to fix this problem for many users so, and to perform this step you just have to go to your cmd again that is command prompt and once you'll open it you just have to type ip config space then give a slash backslash and flush dns i'm just confused is, is it a backslash or forward slash i'm just confused so whichever it is ip config space slash and then flush dns and once you've typed it press enter and it will see you will see on your screen windows ip configuration successfully flush the dns resolver cache and that's it for this step it is that simple try running your game and most probably you will see a difference if you are facing hyping then it will also help in that case and if you're facing any server error it might fix that problem too so that's it for this video i hope you found this video helpful if you like this video then please leave a like on this video if you have any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe to pc helper for regular gaming content thank you and have a nice day